everybody and welcome to my X-Files Christmas special today for some of my presents that I got. I've got these new Great Western Railway coaches that are on the high speed trains today. Now with these ones they have sliding doors because they uh, decided to uh, that it would be better to have sliding door coaches than the slam door coaches in real life on the trains. So I've got a D coach and a C coach. The C coach happens to be special safety. The C one is a uh, disabled friendly. So let's get these out then and have. A bit better more look at them. Now, for these new ones, you've got these special couplings here. Yeah, these. That's for uh, when you want to couple it up the better way that instead of doing it from double O gauge hooks, so it would help these course connect to the coaches instead if you don't want to use the double gauge hooks. Now as you can see the difference that Hornby did to this design is they put in those tired these very uh, wonderful looking wheels. They put patterns on the wheels. And I do have to say that, that is a really nice colour glossed product. Because this, unlike my other coach. Anyway, this is 48108, which is the C coach. They have up to 76 seating. Despite it having this disabled friendly opening here. And inside you can just see that it has a green interior on the coaches. Now the other one. Oh yeah, before that, that's the uh, front to the doors. Just the same as the other ones. Now, with the D coach, I used to have a first great western slam door version of the coach. So it was a blue one with an with a sleep with a night Riviera sleeper E coach. But the sleepers had gone out long ago. So yeah, we got more hooks. Now this one is a normal standard coach, so again the nice colourful looking shiny look, but of course this one has eight windows so it's definitely not, and again the nice looking wheel set. Just need to check the wheels before I set them to work so this these coach will join the l first class coach slam door to create three coach services which i was willing to of which of course was the willing i wanted to extend the fleet now i'm going to need to put it on the tracks and set up a locomotive to haul them. So of course, coaches sound like usual. So the D coaches, so D coach is more or less like the uh, D. Right, so I've got the coaches up, now I need to go and get a locomotive. I'm not going to use any steam ones, it's going to be a modern diesel. I select 
66 711 cents in the aggregate in the GB Ralph Ray Aggregates Industries Livery to pull the coaches to join the rest of them. So, of course, both of them will be steam and diesel by. But again, I don't know if I'm going to have a high-speed train or if it's just going to be local horde services. Probably local horde services, to be fair. So you can see, that's the coaches are uh, are really nice looking of course mk3 coaches are usually very good Give it a bit more throttle. So yeah, definitely nice coaches, I have to say. And these will be coming in to work with Arriva Trains Wales to provide Welsh services or come along with this older slam door coach that is starting to turn quite dusty. It is. It will usually go at the either the front or the rear of the train and of course this I'll be keeping uh, I'll be using the double gauge hooks not the others so they'll be used on the scrap trains that I'll be that I usually do on a regular basis so there you have it a nice three coach, uh, two to three coach services, and sometimes it will be mixed with the Reva Trains Wales that I'll be willing to provide. So, thank you for watching my X Files, and I'll see you next time. Science!